Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Time is 9:16 now. Offensive tackle Tate Ratledge of the Darlington School in Rome has a big decision to make this morning. He's choosing between Georgia and Tennessee. And Fox 5's Cody Chaffins joins us live from Rome. We're about to have that big announcement, Cody. We are ready for the big announcement. We've done a lot of these on High Five Sports over the years, Elise. This is a great scene because we're in the library here at Darlington up in Rome, Georgia, and we've got students from the entire school in the building as we get ready for this. And if for, for good reason, because Tate Ratledge, a four-star offensive lineman picking between Georgia and Tennessee, our recruiting expert, Rusty Manzel, is here. Tell me what makes him so special. Like I said, he's an elite athlete. There's not many people with his size. He's six foot six, 315 pounds that can do what he does. And I tell, I say this all the time. In the NFL, the people that get paid the big bucks are the quarterback, the guy that can protect him, and the guy that can rush the passer. He's one of the guys that can protect him. All right, let's, I'll hand it off to you. Tate, uh, it's your time. You had, uh, we talked this morning, you had your first offers in April of 2016. It's going to end today on May 2019. You ready to make your college decision? I am. It's on you. Um, I'd first like to start out by saying thank you. Thank you first to the Lord for his many blessings he has given me and to my parents and for always supporting me. To Coach Ath and all the past and my current coaches for pushing me to be my best. To all of my family, friends, teammates, and the whole Darlington community that have been there for me. Our trainers, Donnie and Brent, who have helped to keep me healthy and on the field for all, and for all the coaches that have given me the opportunity to play at the next level. This has been a long process and has been tough with so many great schools, and at the end of the day, I can only commit to one. With that being said, I'm thankful to say I'll be furthering my academic and athletic career at University of Georgia. Tate was offered by Georgia in June of 2016. He was worked out for Sam Pittman and staff. He joined in here with Tate. Tate, we talked about this. You said that you felt for two, two weeks now you knew where you go. What was the biggest factor in deciding to go to Georgia? Um, the people there, Coach Pittman, of course. Um, where they're going, the direction they're going in, winning national championships, that was really the main factor. What was Sam Pittman's reaction when you told him you were coming? Nah, he was pretty excited, <laughs> to say the least. How's it, Mom, Dad, how's it feel to be over with now for you guys? It feels good. Tate's, uh, it's been a long process, and he's really thought it through. And, you know, along, along the way, everyone always told him, was you've got to find a place where you're comfortable and where your heart tells you to go. And, and Georgia ended up being that place. Cody? Rusty, it, we, you were just up in Baltimore. Georgia got another five-star. They pick up a four-star here. What does this mean for the dogs? I mean, they're rolling right now, and that's what you, you know. You, not only are they getting two of the top players in the country, but knowing these young men like I did, they're, like I said, great athletes on and off the field. But uh, with Tate, uh, you know, like I said, he's a one percentile guy. There's only so many of those each class in the country. That's what makes him such a commodity. And today for Georgia, Kirby Smart, Sam Pitt, this is a huge day. And we'll just quickly explain for the folks out here who aren't aware, this is as official as he can be right now. Yeah. Nothing is official until when? He'll sign in December uh, and be done. But knowing Tate as well as I do and, and going through the process and, and covering him, I know that he, he was ready to get over with. And, um, he can answer that for himself, but it sounds like to me that he's very solid with Georgia. All right, thank you guys, and congratulations. One more round of applause for Tate Ratliff. Oh, 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 Hard to hear you over the roar of the crowd. So it sounds like they are behind Tate. A lot of excitement in that room and very cool that he was able to do this on Good Day Atlanta as well. Congratulations to Tate.